So the final assertion that we're going to look at in objects is the instance of method. And this can be used to determine whether a given object is an instance of a certain class or type. So in this example here, I have this class of animal and its constructor method just takes in a name and a type and it sets the name and type fields. And we have this new animal being created here called tiger. And it's, it's got new animal and the strings tiger and mammal that are assigned here. So what we can do is we can say some, we can on try assert, we can call the method instance of, and the first argument you give it is the object, so which is this tiger object right here. The second argument you give it is the name of the class or construction the function. So I'm just gonna give it animal here. And finally, uh, we have an error message, so we can say something like tiger is not an animal or something like that. So if I run this now, we can see that all the tests have passed because this tiger here is an instance of this class animal. Now, if I change this to something like date, for example, we know that this isn't a new date constructor being used here. So we know that tiger isn't a date. And if I run this now, we can see that it fails and it says expected and then this object right here and it says it expected it to be an instance of date. Now, one other interesting thing I'll show you is that if I change this date here to object, and I run this, we can see that all the tests have passed because every object is technically um, inherited or an instance of the object class, I guess. So see, it says an object constructor. So we've technically used an object constructor here. The opposite method to this is the not instance of, and not instance of just basically uh, passes if the value is not an instance of the given type. So if I run this here, we can see that it fails because it expected this um, tiger object to not be an instance of object. Um, if I were to change this to the tiger class here and run this again, we can see it still fails um, because, oops, that's not supposed to be there. That's supposed to be animal. Sorry, if I give it to animal and I run this again, we can see it still fails um, because it said it expected this tiger object to not be an instance of animal, which it is. The way to make this test pass, like I said, is to give um, a value and then an object, and a, sorry, and then a constructor of a different type. So if I put something like date here, we know that this tiger isn't a date, and you can see the not instance of passes. So let's look at the test now, and we're at the very bottom of this unit test. JS. We're almost finished with this now. So uh, the first one we have um, the object is the my car object. So that's this one right here, which is a new car. And then the second argument, which is the um, class, I guess, or the constructor is the plane. And we can see here that my car uses the new car constructor and not the uh, new plane constructor. So we know that um, my car isn't a plane. So this is a case where we'll use not instance of. The next one we have is airline plane and plane. And um, if we look here, this airline plane right here is a new plane. So we know that this object is will be of the class or class plane, I guess. Um, I don't think these are really classes. These are just constructor functions for objects. Um, but we know that it's a plane object. So if we give this to instance of, we know that this test will pass. Um, the next one we have is um, air airline plane and we have objects right here and um, if we go up here we can see that it uses the new plane constructor but like I said before um, all objects are technically of type objects so this will also pass if you give instance of. Um, finally we have something interesting here and we have this uh, wheels field of my car and then we have four here and we have string here. Um, strings are actually technically objects in JavaScript, it's just you can create them without using a constructor. Um, so if this was a string, it would pass. But if we look, go up and look, we can see that um, the wheels field is actually a number right here. So we know that this will fail um, if we give this to instance of. So we have to give it to not instance of to pass. Okay. So that should be all of them. So I'm gonna copy the live app link and then paste it into here. And if you click, I've completed, 
we can see that it's finished. So now we're all uh, completely done with these uh, unit test.js files. So from now on, it even says, good job, you're done here. Um, you can move on to the functional test.js file. But regardless, that's how you test if an object is an instance of a certain class or constructor.